are here at Gen Con 2015. I'm joined by Paul Grogan with Czech Games Edition. Paul, how are you doing, man? I'm doing okay. It's great Thanks to see for coming you. By. Yeah. So there's this game here at Gen Con. We've been hearing everything, a ton about it. Heard about it before Gen Con, at Gen Con, and Paul's holding it here. I am. It's called Code Names. It seems like a fairly simple game in the in the good sense of the word. So, Paul, why don't you tell me a little bit about how Code Names works? What's yeah. the draw of this game? Uh, Code Names is a game for four or more players, although there is a version for two or three, but the main game is for four players. I think the reason it's popular is it's really easy to teach. It's like two or three minutes to teach people how to play. The theme's nice, because you're all spies. Um, it plays in about 15 minutes, and it's getting a lot of buzz because people are playing it and loving it. Um, and the way that the game plays is that the players split into two teams. So you have the blue team and the red team. And the blue team are trying to identify the blue agents, and the red team are trying to identify the red agents. Nice. Um, and the agents, there's 25 words on the table. Now the game comes with 400 words. Okay. So you choose 25 of them at random and put them on the table in a five by five grid. The spy masters then have what's called the key, which is a secret five by five grid that tells them which ones are the blue agents and which ones are the red agents. Mm -hmm. So they know, and it's up to their team to try and find them. The way that it works is that the spy masters must give a clue to the field operatives and the clue must be a word and a number, and it's, that's it. It's a single word and a single number. They're not allowed to say anything beforehand or, or afterwards. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to find a word, a clue, that associates as many of your words on the table as possible. So if we were playing the game and you were on my team, and three of the words on the table were, say, dinosaur, park, and movie, and on the key, those three words were my color, I'd think, brilliant. And I'd give you the clue, Jurassic, Three. So I'm telling you there are three words associated with Jurassic. Now you've then got to try and identify them. Wow. Now that's easy, but let's say on the key, two of those words, so let's say park and dinosaur were our colour, and the other one was an agent of the other colour. If I then say the word Jurassic and two, because there are only two words, you're looking at the board going, well, there's actually three words associated with Jurassic. Yeah. Two of them are ours, so one of them might not be ours. So the gameplay, the rules are simple, but it's in the gameplay as to how it works out. Um, play passes between the teams, the first team to identify all of their agents wins. The killer, literally, is the assassin. One of the words on the table is an assassin. If a team picks the assassin, they instantly lose the game. Wow. Now, the spy masters know which that assassin is. So in the previous example, what if the word movies or movie was the assassin? I would not be able to give the word Jurassic right, as a clue would, yeah, because you'd go, is it a movie? <laughs> oh, we lose the game. So the, spy, the role of the spy master is really tricky. You've got to look at the words, work out which ones are yours, try and find a word that links as many of them as possible whilst avoiding the other ones. Right. Definitely avoiding the assassin. Man, I can imagine that's just a mind-bending experience. Yeah, we've got 14 plus on the box. And that's not because of the complexity of the rules. Yeah. It's the role of the... Now, we've played it with younger guys, and it, and it works fine. Earlier on today, uh, a guy was giving clues to his son, and he was just saying, yellow one. And he was trying to indicate lemon. And it was fine. So the game can work, and he's a teacher. And he's, he's going to buy lots of copies and use it in his school. So it's actually, although it's 14 plus on the box, it's been played by people of younger age, and it works great. Well, what has the reception been so far uh, here? You're giving demos. It's only Friday, so yeah. we've only about halfway through this thing. What's the reception been so far? Amazing, yeah. and, I, and I'm saying that honestly, not as a any kind of marketing or yeah. anything like that. Um, I love demoing the game because a few minutes into the game, people are saying this is awesome, and then they're buying it. We yeah. kept a couple of boxes back for today. We sold out yesterday, and we didn't sell out only because we had 36 copies. We went through 500 yesterday. Beautiful. We kept a couple of boxes back for today. We've got a couple of boxes for tomorrow, but that's it. We could have brought twice as many and we'd have probably still that's sold out. That's a great problem to have. Yeah. Uh, the last thing that I'll ask you is, you know, we talked about it a little bit, you know, this is, uh, this is not like, you're not a premier no. retailer. You don't have this giant floor space nope. pushing this game. You're kind of back here in the corner and yet one of the most popular games here at Gen Con. Yeah. So what is it, what is Czech Games Edition? Tell me about the, the kind of the company and how you guys got to where you are right now. Czech Games Edition uh, started about eight years ago. Yeah. Um, came onto the market. Vlager is one of the <laughs> big hits. Yeah, I mean, he, he, designed he designed this game, this but he's also did. designed through the ages, Galaxy Trucker, Space Alert, Dungeon Lords, Dungeon Pairs. You know, his name carries a lot of weight behind Absolutely. it, and he's, he's very well known. Um, and Czech Games Edition has been getting 
better and better. I mean, they always made great games, but as a company, they've just got better and better. So even with a small booth tucked at the back of the hall, the buzz about the game beforehand has helped carry that through to being where we are. So yeah, I love to hear it, Paul. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time time. to talk with us. And this is Code Names. Uh, This is Czech Games Edition, an incredible kind of a breakout game. Really cool story here. Check it out, guys. And we got more coming from Gen Con 2015. Stick with it.